Hello everybody, happy Monday. It is Modern Monday here, so welcome back to another Modern Gameplay video. Today we're checking out some Manalist Dredge. That's right, a zero lands modern deck that is wild. So somebody found that you can just take Phantasmagorian, this old uncommon, and it just makes for the perfect setup for Manalist Dredge. And this deck honestly should have been a thing as soon as the London Mulligan was legalized. Like it's been sitting on the table for that long, kind of like Shadow was, where a deck just goes undiscovered for a long time until somebody figures it out. So I was looking at lists and I saw this list by Savantir. And then the very next day, uh, Saffron Olive uploaded a deck tech on it on his channel of Manalist Dredge, but it was a list by Pascal Maynard. But looking at the stats of both lists, it looks like Savantir's was uploaded a day before Pascal Maynard's. So I don't know who created this list or who came up with it first, who saw it first. I don't know, but the only difference in the 75 of these two lists is that Pascal Maynard's has one more Salvage Titan and one less Sword of the Meek. And I kind of like that better than Savantir's. Uh, he had a 2 and 4 split of 2 Salvage Titan, 4 Sword of the Meek, but I like the 3 and 3 split more, so we're going to try that. Now, I have no idea what results to expect today. I don't know if we're going to go 0 and 10 or 10 and 0. I have no expectations whatsoever, but this is going to be wacky as heck. Definitely one of the spiciest uh, gameplay videos we're going to have here on the channel. So as always, as we jump right into the deck tech followed by the gameplay, remember to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about today's deck as well as feel free to leave a suggestion. And if you want to play today's deck along with us, I encourage you to sign up with Mana Traders in the link down below using the code Marin Moon, and you can rent today's deck and play it on MTGO as well as any future decks we play on the channel. And with that, let's get right into it. Hope you enjoy. You would need us some magic cards but also want to support the channel? Consider purchasing from TCGplayer.com through our decklist link down below. And did you ever want to play Magic Online but buying cards is just too expensive? Consider signing up with Mana Traders through our link down below. They're the go-to MTGO card rental service. And don't forget to use the coupon code MarinMoon when you sign up. So All In Dredge can be considered an all-in deck, which means it's trying to do just one thing and one thing only. And if it does not do that one thing, then it loses the game. So the ultimate goal of this deck is to get Phantasmagorian in your opener. You're gonna choose to be on the draw every time. So you can draw up to eight cards, discard the hand size, you're gonna discard Phantasmagorian. And on the very next turn, you're gonna use Phantasmagorian's ability to discard three cards and return it from your graveyard to your hand. And that is what's going to trigger all the chaotic events to occur. So we have things to help this out. Serum Powder is the main one. We cannot mulligan down to six with this deck or else you will lose the game because you need to go to hand size and discard Phantasmagorian. So Serum Powder is gonna really help with that because if we don't have a Tasmagorian in our opener but we have Serum Powder, we get an absolutely free mulligan to try to get Phantasmagorian in our opener. And worst case scenario, if we're gonna be forced to mulligan down to six what we happen to have at least the once upon a time, we can keep that cast once upon a time for free and try to search for that Phantasmagorian because we really need it that bad. So then we're going to use Phantasmagorian to discard three cards. The first kinds of things we're going to try to discard are obviously dredgers because it is Manalist Dredge after all. So we got a play set of Stinkweed Imps and two thugs because Stinkweed Imps mill more. And then we got Street Wraith, which um, once we get the dredger into our graveyard, we can cycle Street Wraith to draw a card and that's going to be replaced with a dredge and we're going to go wild like that if we have multiple Street Wraiths. So the next kind of thing that we're going to try to discard are things like Prize the Amalgam because obviously they come back from the graveyard to the battlefield if a creature entered from the graveyard or library. Vengevine is another thing that can come back, but only if you cast uh, two creature spells in the same turn. So let's move on to the next slide of things that you can cast for free to trigger Vengevine. So Memnite and Ornithopter you can cast for free, and Hollow One is also free because Phantasmagorian makes you discard three cards. Hollow One costs two less to cast for each card you discarded this turn, so it's going to equate to negative one mana. So Hollow One is technically cheaper than Memnite and Ornithopter. It is just a free 4-4. And note the fact that Memnite and Ornithopter are artifacts, because let's move on to our next slide. Salvage Titan is the next main bomb we're trying to get out. Um, because you can sacrifice three artifacts rather than pay its casting cost. Therefore, you can sacrifice your useless Memnites and Ornithopters, or you can sacrifice things like Mishra's Bobble, which we're using as a cantrip, and Sword of the Meek, which also works with that second trigger with Memnite, because Memnite is a 1-1, and get the Sword of Meek back from the graveyard to the battlefield. You can sacrifice three artifacts, get Salvage Titan into play for free, free 6-4, there you go. That is the next beefy play. And then the last slide is just things that you're going to incidentally mill over. Narc me, but if you accidentally dredge over it, it's going to go right under the battlefield and Creeping Chill is going to Lightning Helix your opponent right in the face. 
Now here's the part of the deck tech where I would normally talk about the mana base, but obviously there is no lands in here. So let's move directly onto the sideboard. So we have a play set of Sickening Shoal. You can remove a black card in your hand rather than pay its uh, casting cost. And the casting cost is X where X is that remove cards CMC. So obviously if you remove Phantasmagorian from your hand, so basically for free, you're going to give target creature minus seven, minus seven. If you have a redundant salvage Titan that you can't quite cast, you can give a creature minus six, minus six. So so it's just a removal spell if we really desperately need removal. And then we have a place that a fairy macabre. Uh, this can exile cards from the graveyard for free. And so if the opponent's trying to reanimate something or they're on their own dredge plan, there you go. And then we got Chancellor of the Annex, which if this card is in your opening hand, uh, you can reveal it and then you can make, uh, you can counter the first spell the opponent casts unless they pay an additional one. And this is absolutely needed against Thoughtseize effects because like I said, we have to go up to eight cards um, to be able to discard Phantasmagorian on the first turn. So if we get Thoughtseize, it's like we went down to six and we're going to have to wait another turn to get up to hand size. So we cannot afford to be hit by Thoughtseize in the first turn. So that's why Chancellor of the Annex is there to make the opponent's first Thoughtseize cost two mana, giving you the chance to discard Phantasmagorian. And then we have three copies of Chancellor of the Dross. So this, I assume, is there for burn or like Blitz or something, because if it's in your opener and you can reveal it, the opponent loses three and you gain three. So basically like a free creeping chill in your opener. So that's about it. I'll get the stream started and I'll see you in the first round. Hey guys, just a quick message before we get into the gameplay. As you might have seen in the title of the video, this is going to be a highlight reel, meaning you can probably guess how most of the games went. But I just wanted to pick and choose some cool games out of the stream where the deck did what it wanted to do so you can get a feel of this deck's nut draws and how it's meant to be played. But as you can imagine, the rest of the games were ended by a simple graveyard hate spell but with that in mind, I hope you enjoy the better half of the games. Let's get right to it. Come on, Dredger. Not a Dredger. All right. Phantasmagorian. Discard Vengevine. Discard Street Wraith and Mishra's Bobble. All right. Play a free... Oh, no. Not cycling. Play a free Hollow One. Um, play a Mem Knight. Dang it. Play Mem Knight, trigger Vengevine, say yes, and then play Mishra's Bobble, play Ornithopter, cast by sacrificing three artifacts, boom, get in there for four. <laughs> now that is turn two, uh, turn two, 14 power on board. It's not turn three lethal, we only swing them down to two. Um... But let's see what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. Oh no, we might just die. It's Twiddle Storm. We, we might just die, guys. Uh, Alright, let's discard Stinky Damp, Thug, Sword. Cycle Street Wraith, Bridge of the Stinky Damp. Ooh, I hit another one. Alright, discard Stinky Damp. Phasmagorian, Salvage Titan. Draw. Dredge over Stinkweed Imp. I hit Creeping Chill and Prize and uh, Narc Amoeba. It's gonna be a yes. It's gonna be a yes. Trigger. Oh, I got Triple Sword? Oh, man. It's gonna get legit in here. And I get him back Prize Amalgam. So now I play Ornithopter. And now Salvage Titan, and I'm gonna get back the, uh... I'm gonna get back the Venge Vine now. And then I'm gonna get back the Prize Amalgam. Okay, this is good. This is good. I like this a lot. Get back. Is that two Prize Amalgam? Oh, no, that's only one. Alright, but that was a pretty good... That was a pretty good turn, too. That was a pretty good turn, too. Come on, deck. Reg the Stinkweed Imp. Give me that Phantasmagorian. Finally! It was the very last card, too. The very bottom card. Alright, so Phantasmagorian's gonna ditch Vengevine, Vengevine, Stinkweed Imp. Cast the Hollow One. Cast the Hollow One. Get back. Triple Vengevine. Always yes, always yield. Now watch them have, like, their last card be Deputy Detention. And I'm also getting back the, um, 
Prize amalgams. All right, um, go to combat, get in with all of the Venge Vines. Or do I only get in with two? No, they got seven total attack power. I can live. I'm just going to attack with all. No settle the wreckage. Good. They're down to five. And I still have two creeping chills in the deck, so I think those would be nice. This is turn seven. It feels like this deck goes off on turn seven a lot more than it does on turn two. <laughs> oh, of course. Winds of Abandon. Okay, but but watch this clutch uh, dredge over two, uh, two uh, creeping chills. Watch, it's going to happen. Wait, did I already dredge over one? I didn't. They're still both in the deck. Watch. It's going to happen. I guarantee it. This miracle bonfire, double creeping chill. Nope, none. Um, yeah, it's over. Well, the clutch, the clutch wins of abandon when they had exactly six mana. Uh, okay, stop on our upkeep. Um, use some Tasmagorian discard Stinkweed Imp, Ogari Thug, and Vengevine. Oh, I have no Street Wraith. I don't know why I did that. Let's go to draw and dredge the Stinkweed Imp. Um, alright. I didn't really... I got another Venge Fight in there, though. Alright, so cast the free Hollow one. I haven't got a Sword of the Meek, too, but no things to get back. Alright, get back double Venge Vine. Okay, upkeep. Discard Phantasmagorian. Discarding Venge Vine, Golgari Thug, and Phantasmagorian. Don't, don't surgically extract me. Don't do it. Okay. Um, draw step. Dredge thug. Narc Amoeba. Did I hit a sword? Did I hit a sword? Yes, I'll put Narc Amoeba into play. Trigger prize the Malgum. Nice. Uh, oh, I got double Venge Vine. Sweet. I didn't hit any sword though. Always yes, always yield. Um, let's play this Mem Knight because we can. <laughs> They're just, wait, what? I can't even check chat anymore. Why'd they scoop? Well, what was their hand? They just went land giver, land, 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 nothing. Like, what What was your plan? What were you doing? I bet they were going to play like a Thought Not Seer next turn, and it was just a little bit too late. See, even with the mulligan to six, we still made it. Because we can still, like, usually we want to go off like crazy hardcore on turn two, but we can do it on turn three, you know, with whatever. So Phantasmagorian is going to discard Thug, Amalgam, and Sword of the Meek. Let's dredge, or let's uh, cycle and dredge a thug, get back Narc Amoeba. Yes, get back a sword and get back Prize Amalgam. Swords here. Um, play Mishra's Bobble. Mishra's Bobble. Sacrifice to Salvage Titan. Cast the Hollowed One. End step, get back, prize the amalgam. Okay, at the end of your second main phase, I will cycle the Street Wraith. And I'll dredge Stinkweed Imp. Creeping Chill, yes. I will use Creepy. Yo, oh, Creeping Chill does it! Creeping Chill does it! Oh, <laughs> yo, we lucked into it. What, okay, let me see. Was I gonna hit Phantasmagorian in the top five? Three. There it is! There it is. Okay, then we were gonna do it, but can't believe we didn't even do anything and we still got it. Um, uh, upkeep, discard, uh, Golgari Thug, Venge Vine, and Creeping Chill. Cycle of Street Wraith, discard Golgari Thug. There's another Golgari Thug, so cycle. 
Be Wraith. Psycho or Dredge Golgarth. I'll get back double Narc Amoeba. Get back a Sword of the Meek. Get back another Narc Amoeba. Go to the draw step. Dredge Golgari Thug. Play a hollow one. Oh, come on. I thought... I thought I had a... Whatchamacallit in there. The Vengevine. I do, but I needed to cast another creature. Dang it. Okay, Phantasmagorian discards Sword of the Meek. Sword of the Meek. And Narc Amoeba. Play a Mem Knight. Get back double Sword of the Meek. Yes and yes. Play a Hollow One. Um, play an Ornithopter. Salvage Titan. Discard or sack Sword, Ornithopter, and Sword. And pass the turn. That's all we got. That is all we got. Okay, they're cracking their, their elixir. I still have 11 damage coming at ya. Yeah, you're at 7, but you gotta kill two things. You have to kill two things here. They didn't use their lily. They're taking it! Oh man, we got one! <laughs> oh, I can't believe we did it. Their deck was super weird though. So it's like not, it's not like a legit win, but it, at least it's a win. And you know what? The amount of time we've been playing all day to even get one of these so-called wins i'll take it no matter what it is because it was as easy as just a, a supreme verdict or a rest in peace for them and we managed to dodge it man this deck is a serious glass cannon turn five unacceptable so we ended up with one win and it was against some jank um so this deck is an absolute glass cannon and what this deck tends to do is win game one and then proceed to get bopped by the tiniest amount of hate in games two and three. It literally takes a single graveyard hate spell or a single board wipe to just wipe us out. Like that's all it takes, but it's fun and it's funny. And it's, it's you know, if you like building funny, hilarious decks to impress your friends, um, you should try Manalist Dredge. It's not gonna win in game two or three, but at least you'll get a good laugh out of it. It's uh, it's it's definitely something. I I think that this deck is has a lot of brewability to it though. It has a lot of tinkering to be done, and I think if you're gonna make it a little like every time that we didn't go off on turn two, because this deck goes off on turn two. Um, every time we didn't go off on turn two, because usually you just ditch Phantasmagorian do this stuff. It would go off on like turn seven or eight. Like it would take a while to get everything set up because, like. If you didn't get the nuts in your opener, then you'd have to wait until you just naturally dredge into the nuts. And one of the, like, there were some problems. Sometimes it was too difficult to trigger Vengevine because sometimes you didn't have, like, your zero drops in hand and stuff and, like, your hollow ones. Like, these are your, like, your only things. Because sometimes, um, one of the most often ways we would trigger Vengevine is going to, like, Ornithopter or Memnite or whatever into, like, trigger salvage titan off of like a sword of the meek that just came back from a narc amoeba triggering it and that does not happen on turn two if that if that's gonna happen it's gonna happen later um so yeah i just felt a little difficult to trigger this at times and then it felt um a little difficult to even play salvage titan sometimes because you really have to rely on dredging over those narc amoebas to play a sword of the meek because basically if if mem knight's not in your opener then the only thing to get back the sword or to even find it is dredging over it and it takes a while and you know sometimes you don't even have a dredger in your opener and sometimes you find the dredger but it doesn't dredge over another dredger to continue the chain so you know it's it's pretty it's a pretty inconsistent deck but when it works it's funny and it it, it worked a few times i i don't know how i will edit this video but you'll know because you're watching at this point I feel like I'm just gonna do a highlight reel. I feel I don't feel like I'm gonna do like a a montage like I would usually do for for um, gameplay videos that have nothing but losses and one janky win. But I think that a highlight reel would be good for this one, just to show off the games um, where the deck did what it wanted to do, or you know went off and stuff. And then just just know that every other round, I probably already said it at this point if I did do that, but every other every 
every game. What happened after game one, after the crazy nonsense happened, is a simple graveyard hate spell. And that's all it, that's all it takes. And everybody packs graveyard hate in their board because graveyards are like a really huge resource in modern. And it's it's not smart to play decks like this until modern becomes a meta where graveyard decks are gone. But they're very much not gone. They're very much still alive. Any deck that plays Emery, which there's tons of, Dredge is still a thing. And yeah, it's a little bit dangerous right now. Glass Cannon, but like I said, lots of fun. So if you enjoyed it, hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new for the spiciest of gameplay every other day. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about today's deck as well as feel free to leave a suggestion for a future video. And if you'd like to try out today's deck for yourself, brew around with it, make it better, and you want to try it on Modo, um, I would encourage you to sign up with Mana Traders in the link down below using the code Marin Moon to save 50% off. Help support the channel, and you can rent decks on MTGO instead of having to buy the cards and spend a fortune and waste all your money. You can do the smart thing, get Mana Traders, and rent the cards. And thank you to all the sponsors, TCG Player, and thanks to all my patrons, and I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.